Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this meme generator for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is how it looks. We can see that we have this meme displayed over here and we also have the author of the meme displayed over here. And then we have this button called Generate Meme. And if I click on that, and now we can see we have another meme displayed over here. And in this way, whenever you click on this Generate Meme button, you will have a new meme displayed over here. And we will fetch these memes using an API that lets us uh, get memes from different subreddits. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called meme generator and I just opened it with VS Code. So let's go ahead and start by creating the necessary files. So let's create a new file and uh, let's name it index.html. And let's create another file and I'll just name it style.css and let's also create a main.js file. Alright, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, now let's link our CSS file over here so I'll just tap link and press tab and in the HTML file I'll just tap style.css and let's link the JavaScript file over here so I'll just tap script colon src and press tab and in the src I'll just tap main.js Alright, let's start by creating a division to contain everything so let's give it a class of meme generator and in that the first thing we will do is create a button and we'll give it a class of generate meme button and here we will have a text of generate meme and after that we will have the title of the meme so let's create an h2 and we'll give it a class of meme title and for now let's just type loading All right now let's create an img tag for the meme so in the src we will get the link of the generated meme and then lastly we will have a division with the class of meme author so that's basically it with the html now let's go to our css and let's start styling this before that let's open this in our browser so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so once you install that you can just right click over here in the html and click on open with live server Right now let's go to a style or CSS file and first of all let's target the meme generator division. So this division right here. So let's type dot meme generator and we'll set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. And we'll also text align everything to the center. Right now let's add a default height to the meme image. So let's type meme generator img and we will give it a height of 430 pixels and we will also set object fit to cover so that it has the correct aspect ratio All right now let's style the button so let's type meme generator and for the button we have a class of generate meme button so let's type generate meme btn and let's add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right and let's set the border to none and we will add some border to the left and the right so let's tap border left and let's set it to 4 pixels solid dark gray and even for border right we'll tap 4 pixels solid dark gray and we'll also set a margin of 24 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and let's set the color of the text to f6 4d 4d and let's set the background color to white and we'll also set the cursor to pointer so when you hover this we need to have the pointer so let's type cursor pointer right now let's add a hover effect so here I'll just type meme generator generate meme button colon hover and when we hover over this we will have a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and for left and right we will have a padding of 36 pixels and we'll also set the border left to 8 pixels solid dark gray and let's just duplicate this and here I'll just tap border right and we'll also add letter spacing so let's tap letter spacing of 3 pixels and here we'll also add a transition so that we'll have smooth animation so just tap transition of all to 400 milliseconds ease and now if you hover over this we have this uh, hover effect Right now for the meme author we'll just add a little bit of margin so let's type meme generator meme author and let's add a margin of 8 pixels right that's it with the css 
Now let's go to our main.js file and let's add the JavaScript. Now first of all, let me show you the API that we're going to use for the meme generator. Now this is the GitHub page of the meme generator API. So if you scroll down, we can see that we have some instructions on how to use this. So this is the link of the API. So if you just go to this link, we will get a random meme. And this is the response that we will get. So we will get the post link and then we'll get the subreddit from which the meme is uh, generated. And then we'll get the title and the URL and all of these things over here. And you will also get these preview images. And if you scroll down, we can see that we can also specify how many memes we want to have. And if you scroll down, we can also specify the subreddit. So if you know the name of a subreddit that you want to get the memes from, then you can just add that after this link. So here we can see we are getting from this subreddit right here, wholesome memes. All right, so now let's go back to our JavaScript file. And first of all, let's reference some of the elements from the HTML. So we need to reference the generate meme button. We need to reference the meme title and the image and also the meme author. So let's reference all of these. So let's type const generate meme button equals document dot query selector. And let's type meme generator generate meme button. Then we have the meme image. So let's type const meme image equals document dot query selector meme generator img and then we have the meme title so let's type const meme title equals document dot query selector meme generator meme title and then lastly we have the meme author so let's type const meme author equals document dot query selector meme generator meme author all right now let's add an event listener to this generate meme button so let's type generate meme button dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event and when we click on the generate meme button we will call a function called generate meme so let's type generate meme and we'll create that function right now so let's type const generate meme And here we will use the fetch API to get the response from the API. So let's type fetch and here we will add the link of the API. So let's go back to our GitHub page and let's copy this link from here and let's paste it over here. You can add the name of any subreddit over here. All right. After that, let's type dot then. And here we will get the response in JSON format. So let's type response. You can name this anything you want and we'll create an arrow function and uh, let's type response.json and after that we will have one more then and here we will extract the data from this response so i'll just name it data and let's create an arrow function and here i'll just call a function called update details and we'll create that function in a minute so let's type update details and in this we need to pass some values so we'll pass the URL of the image. So let's type data, which is the data that we get over here and uh, dot URL. So if you go back to the GitHub page, we can see that we are getting this URL. So you have to add the same keyword. So here we have URL. So that's why we have data dot URL. And we also need to get the title. So let's type data dot title. Here we can see for the title, we have this title. And then we need to have the author. So for the author, we have this keyword author. So let's type data dot author. And let me just arrange this. So here we have the then. Here we have the response. And then we'll have the then over here. All right now let's create this function called update details. So let's type const update details. And here we'll just type meme image dot set attribute. Now here you have to set the src attribute. So if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see we have this img tag and in that we have the src attribute. So let's type src. And here in this function, we also need to get all these parameters. So for the URL, I'll just give it a name of URL. And for the title, I'll just give it a name of title. And then we have author. Right here in the src, I'll just type URL. And then we will type meme title dot inner html equals title 
and meme author dot inner html equals author and here i have a typo we have to type url right now let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's click on this generate meme button so here we can see we have this meme and we have the title we have the image and also the author displayed over here now for the author we'll also type meme by so let's go back to our javascript and here for the author i'll just add it inside a back tick and here i'll just type meme by and here I'll just add a dollar symbol and curly braces for this variable right now let's go back and let's click on this generate meme button so now here you can see we have a different meme and we have the title the image and we have the author displayed over here right now the last thing we will do is we will generate this meme when the page loads so let's go back to our javascript and here i'll just call this function called generate meme so i'll just type generate meme and now let's go back to our website so here we can see we have this meme generated when the page loads and if i click on this generate meme button and now we have a new meme generated over here so that's basically how you create a meme generator using html css and javascript all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day